without my hat, without my walking stick. What that song? I can't. <laughs> So you got your headphones on? Your headphones work, so if they're telling you to move the camera, okay. you need to. Yeah. <laughs> to Grandma's Attic Music Review. Ah, we're knee deep in the holidays, aren't we? So I don't know what you celebrate. Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Malarkey, Christmas. I don't care. Solstice. I don't care what you celebrate. We all need to celebrate every day as life. So tonight we're going to celebrate music. So I was at a Moose Club jam um, several years ago now, and this guy, I had my friend Ray Kurt, the fiddler, with me. That's, that's number one that goes down in, the, in this history. Mm -hmm. But anyway, this guy got up to play, and he was playing, and he played with my friend Ray Kurt, and they connected, and then I heard he was doing this thing called the Howlin' Dogs, and I invited him to come and uh, play here on the show. So he's been here as the Howlin' Dogs, but he hasn't ever been here solo, and he just dropped a new solo album. So you're gonna have such a good time tonight listening to really amazing music from a really interesting yeah. character. We've got a lot of really cool, cool stuff to talk about tonight. So stay tuned, sit back, get some popcorn, get a couple of beverages, whatever you choose for beverage and enjoy the next hour of wonderful music and interview with my friend, Rennie Chapman. Okay, thank you very much, Dot. It's great to be here. And uh, thank you everybody out there in uh, Grandma Attic land uh, for, for listening to uh, this today and uh, I hope you enjoy it. So I'm gonna do a few tunes for you. A couple on piano and a few on guitar. Thank you. 
rock and roll. You also know who loves you. But you keep on moving. That's all you know. They're never alone on the road. You're never alone on the road. Do another one here, and uh, let's see. Change my harps on everyone because different keys. Daylight. 
night Feeling dizzy but it won't slow down Revolving door goes round couple original songs that I've been uh, I just recorded and I actually haven't had a chance to play them very much but uh, you know I'm uh, get, getting working on them a little more now that uh, I had the show a couple of times so um, uh, just another one <clears throat> let's see there's a there's a mountain in uh, Weld Maine and it's called Tumble Down Mountain and uh, that's the title of this song. And uh, it's a beautiful hike up that mountain. And on top of the mountain, there's a beautiful lake on the top of the mountain. And oh, wow. uh, people climb and swim up there. And, uh, and uh, my sister has a farm up near there, so I go there a lot. But uh, so I wrote this song uh, last year. It just came to me. I, you know, I was playing on the piano, and uh, you know this the words came to me so uh, kind of a cool little tune <laughs> Every move I 
I just can't fake At the top there is a lake With beauty all around I have been climbing Tumble down I have been climbing Always climbing I am still climbing Tumble down I am still climbing city has a little town that's kind of uh, wild and crazy and I lived up in Fairbanks Alaska for a long time and during the pipeline years uh, Second Avenue was a wild town a wild street uh, a lot of happening up there I don't know so I wrote this little song about it <laughs>
haven't seen Eileen in two weeks. Where she is, I could not tell. Last time I saw her when I was sober, she told me to go to hell. So as I'm booking, I'm always looking. There goes my old friend Bob. Buy me a drink and I'll pay you back after I get a job. That's all. See you in the elbow room If I'm not there I'll be there pretty soon Soon Pretty soon do a couple of tunes on guitar right now. Um, hope everybody's doing great out there, recovering from our diseases <laughs> and all that. It's getting better, I hope. This is another song that's off my uh, CD that I just put out. song my buddy and I wrote. Uh, oh, we wrote we're going to have a fun this song This is one now. that we wrote together back in those days, too. It's, it's a fun song. Buddy. We, when we were um, just out of high school and in college days, you know, we were writing quite a few songs together. This is one of them. And I put this on the album. <laughs>
It's a new day. Hope shines anew. It's a new day. Let me touch you. It's a new day since chances are few. It's a new day. Have a guitar. I guess I can just take the cord right out, no problem. Won't make a noise or nothing. I'm doing a kick up of my old songs with my buddy because this is another one. The name is Al. This one's called I Know Me. This was written back in 71, I think. know me I don't believe in society think for myself what's right and wrong and that's why society won't like this song gonna be a time for change everything is in the future's range there'll be a change of direction or our time won't make the connection the voices call me on to find meaning when I think I've found it I'm only dreaming there's no meaning simple solitude what I call beautiful society calls lewd there's gonna be a time for change everything is in the future's range gonna be a change of direction or our time or make the connection It leads me to depression that never pays Probably mean the end of my days So many people have it and there's no cure Will our society endure? Gonna be a time for change Everything is in the future's reign Gonna be a change of direction or our time won't make the connection. 
all our time won't make the connection you want to play one more song and then come talk to me okay one more song and we'll uh, <laughs> you want me to do that one? I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got. I might have to have the words for this because I haven't seen this in fifty years. Okay. Yeah, but it's such a cool song. Well, yeah, you haven't heard the thing yet. But I heard the story, and we'll talk yeah, about. Yeah, you heard the story. All right. The story is that my uh, good friend. Um, and I, uh, well, he had, he actually, um, actually, the, actually, the truth behind this is he had an extra toe. He had six toes. Okay. Okay. I didn't say that in the story, really. No, but. you didn't. <laughs> but he had six toes. And then when he was, uh, after he got out of high school, he decided he just couldn't stand that toe anymore. And uh, so they had it, he had it chopped off. He, chopped, he had it chopped off. And uh, it was, a, it was, you know, it's a pretty good-sized toe. toe. It was, came out the top, right, right out between his a uh, little toe in the next one that came up there. And so gave him a lot of trouble his whole life. He finally should have had it cut off sooner probably, but um, he did it. So we, we wrote this song about his toe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure I have everything right. Okay. I've been saying this song in a long time. <laughs> Anybody here help my toe? Can anybody here help my toe? Can anybody here help my toe? Can anybody here help my toe? It's crooked and it hangs out my shoe. <laughs> when I hook it on the chair, it turns blue. If you look at it, it looks back at you. I wish that I could trade it for a new. Can anybody here help my toe? 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 I wish it didn't look like a claw The other night I slammed it in the door When my baby laughed I clawed that stupid whore I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> I guess that she won't laugh at me anymore Can anybody here help my toe? 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 I'm gonna go and get the butcher knife. That lousy little toe will lose his life. I hope he doesn't give too big a fight. I'm gonna chop him off with all my might. Does anybody here want this toe? 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 Poor toe. I was going to change those original lyrics a little bit, but I... That's all right. I got it. <laughs> Come over and, and hook up, okay. and we'll have a talk about yeah. everything. So while Rennie's coming over, you know what? It's the holidays. There's a really special show down at the Hygienic called Art 
equals gifts. And you go in there and you look at all this wonderful art made by all these local artisans. And if you choose to, you can get something for someone you love. Made by a local artist, made to bring the money in to the community and stay in the community. You, you have to put your mic on, honey. See it? Yep. There we go. So anyway, um, there's that. And I want to tell you that we're really excited that at the end of January, Salon de Independence is going to be back. We're going to be doing the Hygienic Art Show yearly extravaganza. And they're looking for volunteers. So if you want to volunteer with the Hygienic, give them a call. Talk to Sarah and she'll, she'll set you right up. So now I'm going to do the next best thing. No, the best thing. I'm going to talk to Rennie. Okay? <laughs> cool. Yay. It's been a while so, since I've been to the hygienic art shows, but I think I'll take, go down there again. I yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice, yeah. yeah. I'll get to New London as much as I would like to. But. Good place to be. I know. I love, love, I know. I love living here. Great city. So look what I have in my hand. <laughs> Can you get... Oh, look at that. It's a brand new CD. Rennie's got a new EP out. Four songs? Four songs. Four songs. Is this because of COVID? Did this happen because of COVID? No, not because of COVID. No. Um, I know some songs that I, some of the songs I did, which I don't play these songs out, out ever alone. I don't, you know. So uh, it's just my little solo version. Yeah. But um, a what ha what happened was a uh, you know you write a song and you, it's kind of sloppy, or whatever. I just throw. I there's some songwriter. Um, uh, groups. Open, yeah, open mic. Group, no, things. groups on oh, Facebook. Groups. Yeah. Yo. So I said, I'll throw a couple on there, see what happens. I didn't know. I, I don't know much about uh, internet and stuff. So uh, this producer got a hold of me. He said, hey, I really like a couple of your songs. Um, would you would you be willing to have me uh, try to produce a couple of them? I said, well, well I said, you know, that's interesting. Let's try one, because I've recorded an album before years ago. Mm -hmm. um, so I've done recording. I think I had that on yeah. LP. Yes, I gave one to you. And um, but I haven't recorded anything since. So uh, I said, let's try it. And uh, he's a real great guy, and we really had a good relationship. And he has a studio in South Carolina. Oh, and nice. so what you, we do is I'll, I'll record some tracks at home and send them to him if he likes. We go through back and forth, back and forth, and then he does his studio work there. And it took, took about three weeks on each song. Um, wow. Because, probably because I take a long time to do it to them but uh i think they came out pretty good and they're interesting and uh have you know ballads and uh that i've written i've written a lot of different styles of songs but these ones specifically are kind of like just you know ballads and things so you have done a lot of quote traveling in your musical history tell us some of the places you've been and some of the different characters you've played with mm, okay First character I ever played with with was Arlo Guthrie. Oh, nice! Yeah. I hitchhiked I love to him. Um, Newport Folk Festival when I was 15 years old, and um, stayed overnight. And um, there was a workshop, a songwriter's workshop, during the daytime that I went to, and it was a, a tent about so big, you know, and about eight of us in there, not expecting anybody famous to come in. It was just a songwriting workshop. Okay, I was 15 years old. And Arlo Guthrie comes in. Nice. And sat with us for an hour and just eight of us and Arlo. And it was just a great time. And he inspired me so much. He's an amazing, um, amazing, amazing storyteller. Yeah. yeah, he had just put Alice's Restaurant out. Oh, wow. And um, so it was a big deal to me. I couldn't believe he came in and he sat with us that long and had fun. So uh, that was one thing. And then uh, uh, one other person that I, um, uh, you know, played with was his name is Brian Bowers. Okay. He's the world's greatest auto harp player. Okay. And um, he's from Seattle. Actually I think I've heard of he's him. He's really good and fun. And so I play auto harp as well from him and I was going to play one today but I didn't. But uh, uh, Anyway when I was in Alaska uh, he did a concert and he had me um, play you know before him and we went out to dinner and we got to meet and all that. That was really inspirational. And uh, But I've traveled a lot. Um, with my music, um, I, you know, recorded that album in Alaska and uh, around the country a lot. And then um, I traveled around the world with my guitar and uh, 
not booked anywhere, but I played in a lot of places. I played in um, uh, Italy and Greece and Thailand and Australia. I was there for three months. I played a lot in Australia. Played in clubs there and, um, and some busking. And um, was there for three months. And then, uh, and then Hawaii, you know, I, was there, I lived in Hawaii a little bit and went back and forth. So I used to play a little bit there. And, uh, you know, just, um, but the greatest thing for me, like growing up in, 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 even in Alaska, was when you sit around with people and you have a couple of acoustic guitars, or if you're lucky, you have an acoustic piano, and people are just singing songs together and harmonizing. and going through different songs. And you, yeah. you just don't get that anymore. It's not, it's, not as think, much as we should, it's, it's that's a, for sure. It's really almost a thing of the past where people just get together for just fun and share and sing together. You, you probably see it more than me, actually. But no. Well, I think that the world is a different place than when we were coming up. And music is a healer. Mm. And if there was more music being done together in the world today, COVID would be gone. But Never mind that. So you just said that you'd done some busking around the world. We have a mutual friend that is, in my opinion, the king of, king of underground busking. busking. Yes. And his name is Da Fiddler, Ray Kurt Johnson. Ray Kurt. Yes, Ray, Ray Kurt. Kurt. <laughs> what you doing out there, watching. brother? Next time you're going to be here, Ray Kurt. We'll yeah, we miss you. So um, tell me about the experience of meeting someone from Raker is from such a different culture than mm. us here, New Englanders, because he comes from right, right in the middle of Washington, D.C., where all mm. that political garbage is going on, and he's so not political. Yeah, true. You know, what was it like when you two met? I want, I want you to well, tell Well, we hit it about. off the first time you were talking about that jam. I, um, both of us just were, got, were getting up and harmonizing with some other people and just getting into it, like I was saying, people getting together, yep. singing, playing, you know, just jamming with our voices mostly that day and so oh he had his fiddle stolen and i mentioned to him i said geez i have a fiddle at my house you do can you go get it well i couldn't get it but blah blah oh, um so i said oh gee you know if you ever want to oh then we talked and i said you want to come over to the house and uh you know maybe mess around like as many people don't do that these days he said sure I, so the next day he came over picked him up at your house yep. he came to my house um and we played, we just really enjoyed each other. And of course, he's, uh, you know, I mean, he's classical, he's a master of classical music, but he, can, he plays all styles and things. And he was really enjoying all the stuff that I, I knew and the stuff he, then I was learning his, some of the stuff he would do back and forth. And, um, and then he ended up playing out with uh, Rolly and I, the Howlin' Dogs. Yep. Um, uh, two or three times he came up and went out with us and played at gigs. Yeah. And um, and he's just a great, great guy, great, um, great, great, great musical mind that you know I just to pick his mind, pick pick his brain and right. share and share things and learn and um, with him and his you know and uh, like you say he's a person from a whole different culture and everything and uh, but uh, no it was that's a, that, I I love that you know I lived in Alaska or with Eskimos and Indians and, you know, different different cultures. Of, different cultures of people in Hawaii, too. And then, so I really, I, I'm not intimidated or anything like that about that kind of thing. I, right, I, I right, love right, it. So right, I'm, right, I'm, right, I'm right. drawn to it, actually. So right. um, it was a, a great experience with Ray Kurt. I hope I see him again soon. Yeah, we do, too. We can't wait for him to come home. So you are, in my opinion, a multi-instrumentalist. You play several different instruments, piano, guitar, auto harp, harmonica. Um, is there anything I'm missing? Dulcimer. Okay. A little bit, dulcimer, yeah. Nice. Drums, I started, I, I started playing drums when I was 14. Oh, wow. And, um, I, you know, I played a little bit, played um, a little bit out, and then when I was about 16, 17, I started getting more into guitar and writing songs, so I drifted away from the drums, but I still have my... 1966 Ludwig drum set in my music studio in Griswold. Nice. Yeah. So Do you sit down and play a, on it every once in a while? Not too often, but yeah, a little once in a while. But other people come over and play. But it's um, good for you. It's great. You know, it's great. I tell everybody that can't play music, I say, start with percussion. Just get a drum or you know, get a hand drum of some kind. And I've I've done that, and I've given a couple hand drums to a couple friends to encourage them. That said, I always wanted to play music. I can't. Keep, just play. Of and course, they, you can and play. Everybody music. can play percussion. 
and they think they can't, but everybody can. You know, you don't have to be great. We've Every all got a we've all got a rhythm. You've all got a rhythm. We all we're born with a rhythm. It's called a heartbeat. Right. But we all have a rhythm, and we all have a little uniqueness to that rhythm. Mm. And when we share it with others, they connect because it's the rhythm of the universe, and it's just amazing to see that happen. You have drum circles that get together. Yeah, they're great. Oh, oh my gosh. Work. And I've, I've nobody been, knows what they're playing, and they all play together, and it all sounds fabulous, yeah, right? Yeah, oh, it's, it, yeah, I've been, and I haven't been uh, many of them lately, but I, years ago I was at some. I've been to some really. I think that there's a drum circle that's meeting on Mondays down at the Hygienic now. So you can um, call the Hygienic and ask when the drum circle is happening. It's, I think they're meeting downstairs at, at the Hygienic now. They used to meet down at the Whale Tail, but yeah, so and that's e a lot of fun. And even if you're not a drummer yet, find a hand drum of some kind, or I don't care what you have. You can just you can just clap, right, or you can right, use anything, right, right, you know? Right, right, right. And, uh, you know, you go along with it, or just be there, and, you know, it's great. Yeah. Just absorb the things. Yeah. So you have this new EP out. Yep. We're really excited yeah, about this. Yeah, I'm excited this. about it. It was, it was a quite an experience doing this, um, you know, remotely with this with this guy. He's really good, and uh, he did a real good job with these songs, I think. And, uh, you know, when you do some of the proofs like that, you have, and a songwriter, you have to let him have a lot of the um, you know, leeway too. You have to go right. back and forth. You have to be open, open minded, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's how it was. And it, it was a great um, collaboration, I think, on our part. And I, I'm looking forward to doing maybe some more in the spring. I don't know. Now, do you consider that you come from a musical family? Do you think that you grew up in a musical family? Oh, I did. Oh, no, I did. I, I grew up. My mother played piano and wrote songs, and my sisters sang Everly Brothers as good as anybody could do and all, all the other songs they sang together. I had to sing, when they sang, when I was growing up four or five years old, I had to sing harmony because I could never, you know, they're singing the songs. If I wanted to sing along, I'd have to sing a harmony and they'd tell me what harmony, how to do it. And yep. So I learned singing harmonies with them and then my brother played um, guitar and he did, um, he was, you know, Johnny Cash, Hank Williams and all that. Um, he knew all the songs, and he was good. And so our family, all, well, yeah, our family was always uh, playing music and grew up playing music, yeah. So what do you think is, outside of your family, your biggest musical influence? Um, hmm. You mean a person? Or? Whatever. Well, Give me the answer that's coming to your mind. Probably, I have to say, in my, my mind right now, there's probably a lot of things, but I was, the, what hit me just now was probably singing in choirs. I mm -hmm. sang in choir. My voice is shot now in my age, but I still have a pretty sweet high tenor voice. It's gone now. But, uh, <laughs> but um, um, I sang in choir in high school, and then I sang in church choirs. And I sang at the university choir. So that really taught you discipline because, you know, if you did something wrong, the <laughs> yeah. the, director, the director's going to point you out in front of 100 people. You know, so right, like, that's a little scary. So, you know, no, but it was uh, so doing that. And then, like I said, just um, uh, being with friends. Um, and then in Alaska, we, you know, in Alaska, we, it was cold in the winter, so we always got together at someone's cabin, and three or four of us would have guitars, and we'd sing whatever old songs. We used to love to sing Jerry Jeff Walker, or any, anything, all the stuff that people did. You know, it could have been anything, but... Um, getting together with, with people like that was great. And we don't do that much anymore. I go out to jams on Sunday, and that's, that's nice. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's nice. There's, there's some great jams. Really, if people want to just go enjoy music, um, there's Sunday jams that have uh, a, a, back, a band that plays. Uh, yep. And other pe musicians come up and sit in. Sometimes it gets really fun and really good. And, uh, and plus, if you just want to listen to music, it's a variety of music. It's it's a it's a good way to get right. out on Sundays the and only, share music. The only Sunday jam that I know of, it used to be called the Stone House. It's but still I, there now. It's there's still a jam there, but it's not on the Stone House anymore. It's called something else, but it's yeah. in, at the Occam, yeah. Roadhouse. In, in the JD's road, Roadhouse. JD's now. Roadhouse in Occam has a jam that starts yeah. at four o'clock in the afternoon yeah. on Sunday afternoon. And, and Tim Cuff right now, um, who's a great um, musician. He has a band called F and Blues Band. I've seen that. Oh, yeah, okay. I've tried to get Very him good. to yeah, come have, on the show. They have a CD out, too. They just had one put out. Um, yeah, so but, when you talk to him, tell him okay. he needs to come to Grandma's Attic. I'll tell him. I'll see him. Can watch. And he, uh, right now, he has a jam at the Montville, not VFW, the Montville American Legion. 
Oh, really? Yeah, and that's been going on the last couple of weeks, and it's been really good. Okay. Whole different kind of variety of people at both of those places, but yeah, they're is. really fun for any musician that wants to go play with these band with a group, or if you just want to go enjoy music and be, you know, it's it's a great thing. I just think. sit and listen yeah, to really good. Time music. to get out without you know, without costing a lot of money and all that. Yeah, it doesn't cost a lot of money to go to an open mic. You just go and you sit and you Free. listen to all different <laughs> kinds of musicians all yeah. get together and jam. So we've come to the place where I kind of need to pull this interview in. I just want to ask you, where do you want to take your songwriting? What do you want to do <laughs> with your next songs that you okay. have coming out of I your mind? I really don't know. I, um, I've been writing songs like you know, we were talking about. And three of the songs I did were from when we were, I was very young, um, writing songs since I was young. My whole life, it's just something that I do. It's yep. a passion. It comes to me. It comes and goes. But um, songs, you know, come, you know, sometimes I work hard on it, and sometimes they just come to you, you know, and that's, you, um, and then you put it together. And I, I used to write jingles um, for for places. I actually had some jingles that were recorded years ago and stuff. So writing music is um, some, something I've always liked to do, um, but never really uh, had a lot of aspirations aspirations you know to what to do so I don't know um, you know I'd like to maybe get out and do some solo and duo stuff and I don't but you know maybe look for more places do some of my originals but whether I play these out or not I don't know but you know my grandkids have something they can say oh grandpa did that okay <laughs> grandma has something she can say grandma has this and I took that picture that's those I, are my grandkids those are yeah. your grandchildren that's yeah. awesome all right so as always we've run out of time but we do have time for one more song. Okay. Will you take us out I'm with gonna the song? I'm going to play one of my all-time favorites, Bob Dylan songs. A Bob, oh, well, we all know how oh. I feel about Bob Dylan. Yeah, okay. Can you undo your <laughs> microphone? Doc, thank you so much. Absolutely, You're my dear. Woman. You know. And I love I just, you. you know, so no, let's you get just, Ray Kurt up here and get back on. You can come okay. back on with Ray Ray. Oh, we know. We know. We'd love to have Ray Ray back. Okay, so here's the deal. Rennie's going to take us out with a song. I want to remind you that, you know what? It's freaking December. Get out there and make sure that your neighbors have heat, water, food, shoes on their feet, socks on the shoes, in the shoes on their feet. Please make sure that your neighbors are okay. This is a community, common unity. We love each other. We take care of each other. Check on your neighbors. And if they're not well and you need help helping to take care of them, let someone in your community know. There's a bunch of help out there. And if you can't find anybody else to help you, give me a holla. I'll be there for you. That's what community is all about. We love you. See you next week. Bye. Da, if I can just follow up on that, too. Um, also, don't be afraid to reach out if you're out there and, and, need, some, and need something or lonely. I mean, and, and you know, I have a lot of free time, too. And so... If, People know me, or even if you don't know me, and you, you know, you can always try. And but I think also that's the other thing. So with COVID and everything, you don't. You're sometimes it's, you don't want to reach out because you don't know if whatever. But it's okay to try. Okay. <laughs> May God bless and keep you always. May your wishes all come true. May you always do for others and have others do for you. May you find a ladder to the stars. May you climb on every rung. May you stay.
May you grow up to be righteous. May you grow up to be true. May you always know the truth and a light surrounding you. May you always be courageous. Stand up right and be strong. May you stay. When the winds are changes shift May your heart always be joyful May your song always be sung May you stay May you stay forever 